let us continue to second video in the basics of electrotherapy the first video was classification of electrotherapy now we are entering into the electrotherapy so the first basic thing in electrotherapy is electricity so what is electricity and let us understand some basic of the electricity whenever something travels in the space or travels anywhere right it travels in a wave right we call it as a wave so anything that is traveling in the space is known as a wave right so what is the wave the wave is the form in which the energy or the electricity travels uh, anywhere right even if you would have seen that uh, the way the water travels it also travels in peaks and troughs right it is called as peaks and troughs right so it is traveling in peaks and troughs so this is called as a wave now how many types of waves are there there are two types of waves mainly one is known as the transverse wave the normal wave that is going up and down up and down up and down is known as a transverse wave and it goes up and down as you can see it right the other one is called as a longitudinal wave longitudinal wave travels in this way right how we say sound travels sound travels in a longitudinal way whereas energy travels in a transverse way right so there are two types of waves number one is the transverse number two is the longitudinal right okay now let us understand some basic of the wave you can see that there is a wave form over here right so the first thing is that a wave starts from here and ends here this is known as one cycle of oscillation right one cycle of oscillation means one wave form from zero then positive then negative and again zero so this part this part of the wave is known as one cycle of oscillation right so understand have a pen and paper make notes when i am uh, taking this lecture because it is required when you read it further right so fundamentals of electrotherapy lecture number 1 about waves and electricity fine uh, we are talking about waves waves are of two types transverse and longitudinal so first we will be talking about transverse waves transverse waves are sinusoidal wave forms which uh, are normally seen when we talk about electricity the first concept in wave is the cycle of oscillation the cycle of oscillation is the cycle of one wave that is from zero it goes to positive then it goes to negative negative and it comes back to zero right so this one wave which you can see over here can be said as cycle of oscillation right so that is first thing now what is amplitude amplitude is the amount of wave form wave how much it goes positive the peak point of the positive from the baseline this is known as the baseline and this is known as the peak so this is what is called as amplitude right so amplitude is the highest point till where the wave can go so when we talk about amplitude of the wave we want to say how high the wave is going how positively the wave is going and then it is coming back down right so this is known as the amplitude of a wave fine then there is something known as the frequency what is the frequency frequency is on this line at this uh, given point how many times the wave passes from a given point is known as the frequency we say what is the frequency of bus to a uh, some place when we talk about we talk about frequency of train what do we mean by frequency of train means how many trains or how often the train passes through this station going towards the other destination so when we talk about frequency of anything what is the frequency of fever that you have right you have 2 hourly 4 hourly 6 hourly or we say what is the frequency of uh, food intake that you are taking we have learned it in history we also talk about what is the frequency of pain you have right means how how many times a day you have a pain 
or what what is the pain you have right so what do we mean by frequency frequency is the time with which it passes to, it it takes to complete one cycle is known as frequency the unit for frequency is hertz right h e r t z the unit for frequency is hertz and hertz means cycle per second what do we call it as cycle per second right the next thing is wave length what is a wave length the length of the wave uh hopefully if you remember when we uh, read about gate cycle right so we used to study about uh, uh, the length of the foot or the gate length right so that was from one peak to other peak this is known as the wave length what is wave length the distance between one peak to the peak of the other cycle is known as the wave length right and it is measured in lambda it is known as lambda this sign is known as lambda so it is measured in lambda so these are the four basic things you should know about the wave number 1 amplitude frequency uh the wave length and the cycles of oscillation where this will be used we'll talk to it later these are the four things you need to know about waves the second part and this is transmission of waves whenever the waves are transmitting either they can get reflected or there takes place is refraction either there is a reflection or a refraction what is a refraction when we hit a wave to a surface it gets reflected so there is a incident wave and there is a reflected ray so whenever it hurts to a surface at 90 degree angle it is hurting over here and it is getting reflected right so this is known as the reflection of waves what is refraction of waves if at any other angle it 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 touches the surface it will get diverted because of the surface right it will get diverted because of the filter right because there is a change in the medium for example when you put a a pen into a glass of water above the water it looks straight but below the water you can look at a little bit tilted because of reflection so if you hold the pen on the water you can see the reflection of the pen so you can see the pen on the surface of the water but when you dip the pen inside the water what will happen above the pen will be looking straight but when you see under the water you can see the pen a little bit tilted so this is known as refraction or reflection right this is the way how the the this changes and one more thing that you should know is the nodes in a wave what are the nodes now nodes are these points which are at zero a wave is at zero uh, as we talk talk had a talk in uh, action potential also that there is a resting membrane potential from there it depolarizes then it repolarizes and then it comes again to resting membrane potential so whatever wherever the wave is at the zero point at the base line here it is a zero right here it is a zero 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 so this is known as the nodes right and the highest point where it is positive or negative these are known as anti nodes we can even say this positive node is a peak and the negative node is a trough right peak is about trough is the lowest point peak is the highest point in the wave trough is the lowest point in the wave fine so i hope you can grasp these many concepts let us revise very fast waves are transverse and longitudinal transfer waves are normal sinusoidal waves longitudinal waves are which go travel this way sound waves are normally longitudinal light waves are normal uh, other types of electromagnetic waves are normally transverse waves right the first thing in wave is the how many times the wave passes right eh? one complete cycle from zero to passage of wave the positive reflection the negative inflection and again to zero is known as cycle of oscillation right then there is amplitude amplitude is from zero the base line to the highest point positive of the wave is known as the amplitude so from zero the wave goes up up to certain level and then it comes back and goes down so this this is the highest point is known as the amplitude right then there is wavelength it is the length between the two peaks fine then there is something known as frequency frequency is 
how many times how many cycles the wave passes through one given point that is known as the frequency it is measured in hertz right and it is uh, said as cycles per second fine then there is wavelength we have discussed then uh, there is something known as the time taken for the wave to pass again the time of the wave is from peak to peak this t is the time so that is again from peak to peak it is measured then uh, how the waves are uh, traveling number one either either they get reflected or they get refracted Ref reflection means they they touch to a surface and they are reflected back so there is an incident wave and then there is a reflected wave right that is known as reflection and a refraction is when it passes the medium the medium changes so some waves get scattered and so they give a varied image of the object this is known as a refraction and then last two points are nodes and anti nodes what are nodes nodes are the points where the wave is at zero it is at the baseline anti nodes are the points when they are in the peak or when they are in the trough so this is some basic terminologies related to waveform now we'll discuss some terminologies related to electricity